21, this is a news burst for Tuesday morning. I'm late, late, late. Susie already left. Sorry about that. It's one of the only reasons worth watching this thing. Okay, fine. Uh, wake up temperatures today, 50 degrees in Milwaukee, 41 as you get started in Waukesha. Rest of the storm team forecast from Scott Steele. Sunny and seasonal today with a high near 67 degrees. You hear this talk about the fiscal cliff or the tax cliff. Almost 90% of Americans will see their taxes go up in 2013 if Congress does not agree on renewing tax cuts. They are set to expire at the end of this year. That's according to a new report by the Nonpartisan Tax Policy Center. The report estimates the average tax increase per household would be $3,500. Another super drunk driving the wrong way on the freeway. It's been more than two dozen of these cases in Milwaukee County this year alone. Uh, this particular case, a 56-year-old man claiming he was uh, headed south in the northbound lanes of I-94 this weekend, blood alcohol level nearly twice the legal limit. 17-year-old Greendale High School senior is facing a felony charge now for a bomb threat. He's accused of writing that threat on a bathroom wall just before homecoming activities. Uh, police say classmates bullied that boy for years and they even voted him to the homecoming court as a joke. Shebtown teens getting busy at homecoming. The principal at Sheboygan North High School threatened to shut down the entire dance Saturday night after a group of students refused to follow dancing rules. Now, the rules should have been easy enough to follow. They were posted and included no bending at the waist to touch the floor and no touching of a sexual nature. About two dozen students were ultimately kicked out of that homecoming dance. Uh, the Brewers have a winning season. We got our 82nd win last night. Two more to go at Miller Park to end the season. And the Packers are looking up in the NFC North. Both the Bears and the Vikings are on top of the division. Bears beat the Cowboys last night. That brings them to 3-1 and one on the season. Tied with the Vikes, also 3-1. and one. The Packers are at 2-2. Two and two. How big was that loss in Seattle now? How big will it be at the end of the year? It's all going to shake out. Are there any questions? I'm so lonely. No, Susie.